Hi, man, Armstrong, and welcome to the Back Office Teardown Lab. Today, we're going to be talking about the Sounds You Like product, which has been designed to help you keep your baby asleep. However, I think it's got a few features that could be of interest for other areas. Now, this is a product from some guys in the UK. So that's what's cool about it. It's actually located in the UK and UK registered design. So it's a British product that makes me a little bit more proud to uh, do a review of it because you don't get too many things designed in the UK. I think it's actually manufactured in China, but designed in England by Excellent Lighting in London. There you go. They're registered in London. And it says, please recycle me. Next time I could be your box of chocolates. I think that's a very good reason for recycling things. Now, opening the box, you do get this fantastic looking device. I'm going to put that there for now under wraps, a manual and a MagSafe type lead. And they did send this to me a while ago and I did have a good old play with it. And I'm embarrassed to say it's taken me quite a few weeks to get to actually doing the review, but that is okay. And I think we'll probably do more of a teardown in the review. It's, it's, I'll go through the features. So it's this egg-shaped product. It sits on the side of a bedside cabinet and you can see it has a MagSafe type adapter. And this is really cool. I'm going to show you this because if you haven't seen one on an Apple laptop, um, basically it's a USB wire and it's designed not to get snagged and if you've got children which this is aimed for this is absolutely invaluable because you can see yoink you're not gonna get it ripping out the port on the back of the device and I have so many tablets and things like that for the kids that has done that and radios in their bedroom which are USB mini and they've been yoinked. It does have a couple of modes it has a normal mode so I'll just show you, in the middle it's off, it has a normal mode and a Bluetooth mode. I'm just going to cover the Bluetooth mode quickly because it's the most simple one for you to understand. We switch that into Bluetooth, Bluetooth mode, mode and then you can see it illuminates. You've got this controllable lighting on it at all times and you can change that by pushing the button and holding it down and it gives you different brightnesses. That's really cool, nightlight feature. Now it's in a normal Bluetooth mode, which means it's picking up your sound from the back if you use it as a microphone, and it's playing out the speakers at the front, and you've got control over the volume. Standard stuff. However, when you're in this mode, when you plug it into a PC, you can see the magnets picking that up. When you plug it into a PC, the PC does two things. First thing is it mounts it as a USB drive. So I think there's an SD card in here, and I'll have a look for that later. Um, which allows you to access the files on it, so you can put files on it that your baby can hear. We'll do that in a moment. And secondly, it actually acts as an external microphone and speaker. So you can use this as a portable microphone speaker. So there's, that's cool. That's like a free feature as far as I'm aware. I didn't see that uh, listed there. Now when you switch it into normal mode, it sits like that and that's pretty standard. Now what you can do, you can actually do a couple of things. You can press play here this is a LibriVox recording. And you can see it's actually playing an MP3 file I put on there, which is Homer's Odyssey, which is exactly what you want for your children to send them to sleep. Um, and there's another play button here, which will play a pre-recorded message. And to pre-record a message, you actually hold down this button here till it beeps. Did I do that right? Hang on. Oh, there we go. Yes, hold it down. Would you just press it once? There you go. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Daddy's going to buy you a mocking bird. Beautiful. Right, then what you can do is when you press this button here. Hush, little baby. You can hear don't it playing. Don't say a word. Daddy's going to buy you a mocking <laughs> Right, I'll turn that off. That's really scary. Now, you can see there's a play button um, with a picture of a microphone here, and then there's a play button with a picture of a SD card. So what this does, this plays from the microphone, this plays from the SD card, and it basically plays for 30 minutes and turns itself off. And then if it detects noise, it'll continue playing. Now that does have one slight downside, is that you can't automatically advance the track. So you have to play through a track when you're listening to it. So on this SD card, there's a lullaby followed my, by my rather long audiobook of Homer's Odyssey. So when I hit play, in the public it continues playing that Homer's Odyssey. 
So what um, I've noticed here, if you power cycle the unit and then start playing, it will continue on the last audio file. So that could be a mixed blessing. It, it's, it could be pretty good. So if your kid's listening to like a story you've got maybe in five minute chunks or whatever, you could have that on there and they could listen to that or listen to that music playlist. It, the playlist will resume where they left off and then you can um, it'll start again. Um, However, if you really wanted to use this as a music player, you know, for like your partying, your disco, you're not going to be able to select your tracks so easily on that. But if you're doing that, you'd probably use it in Bluetooth mode. Um, all in all, though, I found the sound quality to be really quite good, and all of this is quite convincing. It's a really good build quality. It's absolutely not what you normally find um, on the market. I, I've gone through a lot of Bluetooth speakers on this channel, and I can say this is not built to the usual standard. This is absolutely spot on. So let's have a little look under the hood. I'm thinking there might be some screws. Yes, there are. And it'll be, f oh, nothing in that one. It's going to be fascinating to see what's under the hood of this because it does seem to have two discrete functionalities. One, oh, I've got to turn it off by the way. There we go. One of being the Bluetooth Bluetooth, <laughs> Bluetooth interface and one being the standard functioning. So it's obviously got a Bluetooth chipset in there as well. Uh, that's a very interesting screw alignment, isn't it? Arrangement. It's got the front panel there and you've got two and a one. Three screws. Okay. I think the fact it's got a rechargeable battery is absolutely great too. You can then move that from room to room because sometimes you have that with kids, don't you, where they, they want to be in a different room or a room with their parents. You can bring their gadget with you without having to bring all the AC adapters and stuff. Okay. Hmm. So far, it doesn't appear. I don't want to come apart in any obvious way. I'm not going to lie, we're about five minutes on from where I stopped the video last time and I still haven't quite sussed it how they've put this together. Let's try splurgering. Guys, this fit and finish is insane. You're making it difficult to get into without damaging it. And I don't want to damage it. It's too nice. It's too pretty. It's too useful. If you look closely at this, you'll now see that it does have a few scuffs, scrapes and bruises. However, I was unable to open this, so I had to employ some alternative technologies. As a result, I've come up with this. This is my technical drawing, or as best as I can figure out. Um, and I'll show you the orientation. We're orienting the device this way. So imagine you're looking at it from the side. So first things first, and uh, admittedly again, I couldn't get into it. However, there are some internal fixings. So this front half and this rear half do seem to have some internal fixings, which would suggest you'd have to be able to pop out the bottom or perhaps the top would come off. Either way though, I don't feel it's in me to destroy this any further. So that's basically it. Front and the back are fitting together in that way. You do have a cell oriented along the front here, which appears to be something like a 18650 or something similar to one of these, maybe a little bit smaller actually, but a cell nonetheless. There's two stacked PCB layers. One of them in the, uh, I can't fit, quite figure out if it's the top or the bottom at the moment because of focusing issues. But it does have an annular type ring with six LEDs and they are connected up in RGB. The ports connect to the back and these are a sandwich construction. Um, the top PCB appears to be a U-shaped one with a pin header and I suspect there's the interconnect, stupid pen, interconnect going through like that. 
we have the speaker at the front which is clearly a speaker anyway however these buttons here are actual proper tack switches so they are legitimate tack switches so they're going to have some serious use you can hear that when they click these aren't domes or rubbish those are actually pretty good and they are connected via a ribbon cable to that bottom pcb which probably controls some of the logic there but a lot of the shell of course is air because it's you don't need anything in there you know the leds are buried in there and illuminating across this globe so you're getting a nice effect like that it's positioned in such a way though that you're not getting any shadow from the speaker and things so that's a nice a nice touch so I hope that's been illuminating for you all. <laughs> but uh, I would like to congratulate the sounds you like, guys. Honestly, this is a pretty good product in my estimation. I would be very happy with this. I'm going to give it as a present probably to maybe a mind my kids. Um, but I think that if my kids were a little bit younger and they were, you know, probably uh, babyish, they're much older now. I think this would be superb for that issue of babies waking up in the night and then just needing something to lull them back to sleep. So I think that lullaby aspect's really good, but I'm gonna use it for my older kids, so I slightly the older kids for this playback feature so that I could put on some uh, audio stories and things and then they can just every night maybe listen to a 15 minute story before bed and then the next night, hopefully it'll just play on to the next one. Uh, we know that it's a half an hour set loop, so half an hour is a pretty good chunk to split your um, content. If you'd like one of these, head on over to Amazon. The link is down below. I believe they're around £39, which honestly I think is an amazing buy for this. That's a perfect price. <laughs> it's not too expensive, uh, not too cheap, but my gosh, I think the uh, price is cheap for what you are getting and it's certainly defeated me. Hope that's some use to you. Like, share, subscribe, leave comments down below. And as ever, thank you for watching.